Kaya Butter Toast is known to be Singapore's go-to breakfast. And a while back, we filmed the story of Uncle Asing making amazing kaya butter toast on a charcoal grill. But in this video, I learned how to make kaya. So let's see how that goes! Kaya toast and uh, teo ping. Best way to start the kaya toast and teo ping. We are afraid. <laughs> Hello, I am at one of my favorite breakfast places at Gela. And I super old school kopitiam sort of vibes. Okay, so I'll be learning how to make kaya. And they say it's super easy to make, like three ingredients, right? But, you know, knowing my track record and making things, I might mess it up. But uh, it's a good thing I'm having a teacher. And that's Yi Yin from the Food Playground. And she's one of the teachers who conducts classes on Airbnb online experiences. And on the site, I can find the things that I'll need to prepare before class. Hello! Hello! Hi, I'm Rit. Hi, YY. So, today we'll be making Hainanese style kaya, where the end result is not the green kaya that my earliest memory of kaya was actually I didn't really like kaya. I'm forced to eat kaya and I was like, I didn't want to eat kaya. Making kaya definitely was very memorable for me. It's like my mom had asked me, hey, I'm making kaya, stop it and help me to stir. I wanted to stop many times during the thing, right? But she's like, you cannot stop. She said, you cannot stop. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's start, shall we? Okay. So we are going to mix these three guys together first. We're going to start till the sugar dissolves. And you don't have to beat air into it. Basically, you're just stirring your usual way. Sorry, I'm enthusiastic. <laughs> right, okay. So actually what we can do now is we can start our water boiling. We are going to pour this through the strainer into the pot that's sitting on your saucepan. Okay, at this stage, we are going to uh, plonk the... Uh, so I just throw the pandan in there. Yes. <laughs> and then you've got to stir it. Oh, okay. A few moments later. So this was the part that I had to do for my mom. We didn't have this set up. When my mom did it, she had like a smaller container sitting in a bigger pot. So I could feel the full steam. So so I realized now that oh okay, so this is so much better the, the, the one that we have now. For mine, the steam is coming out from my kaya. Oh yeah, mine also. Mine's coming out now. Okay. So now what we can do is we can swap and then we work on the caramelized sugar. Pour it in and give the frying pan a shake just so that you have an even layer. Okay, stir, 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 keep stirring. It's all liquid already. Yeah, it's like kind of brown also. What you do is you pour this caramelized sugar into your kaya. It looks, it looks, it looks good. The colour is very nice. So what you can do is you can actually jar it. Cheers, cheers. Mmm. Yeah, I like it. It's so creamy. Thank you for teaching me how to make kaya. I'm glad you enjoyed it. As you mentioned, you had this job, right? Was it like taxing for you, which is why you decided to get something that was more flexible in that sense? Mm. For me, it wasn't so much that my, my previous job was taxing, but rather I, I reached a point where I felt I wasn't progressing. I knew that my, the next thing I want to do would have to be something very, very different from it. And you had to learn also, right, how to cook. Oh yeah, very very humbling. Wow. What do you have for people who are not very confident in the kitchen? The setup? It's really about practice. Really about practice. When I first joined, I was surprised at how slow I was. <laughs> You've got to force yourself to keep moving. Yeah, and not be intimidated. And being in a community of people who can advise you. Usually you are, your classes are a bit bigger, right? How are your classes typically like? Oh, typically we have like four to six people. Yeah, so some of the questions they ask would be How do you eat it? What, what's the purpose of this thing? I guess through these online classes where the people don't have to travel to Singapore to be able to cook uh, Singapore heritage dishes this way it, it really can, can have a much wider reach Previously it was just tourists who come to Singapore but now we are going to their homes Okay, anyway thank you so much for teaching me how to make my first ever kaya Thank you! Oh, can we take a shot? Uh, uh, like a... Photo together. One, two, three.